Okay, so hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are we will talk about additional features, chapter nine. Okay, so what are the additional features that we need to learn in Inventor? We have create face edge draft draft. Face edge draft where draft pull up. So the same draft but in different option. Face edge draft also another option. So we will learn about face draft. This is number one. We will learn how to split the face or trim apart or create two body. So we'll use the split command. We will create shell feature and we will learn how to use shell command to remove faces. We'll create rib feature. We we'll learn how to create rib and create bus and draft geometry. Okay. So let's start with face draft. Okay. First of all, what's the draft? If you notice here, you can find that this surface from here to here was a perpendicular. This surface, I will change the color. This surface, perpendicular to this surface, it has 90 degree. So draft create slope surface, and it's often used to remove part from the mold. What do you mean by remove part from the mold? Like this, you have mold, uh, plastic mold, plastic mold. And if you go to images, this is the plastic mold. See, this is in real life. This is the mold that create plastic part. It's made the mold made of steel okay, in real life. And this is the plastic part that we know as an example, um, mouse, uh, eraser, like plastic eraser, case, laptop, anything made of plastic. Okay, it's usually being in, uh, inside the mold. So in order to make this part like this one, see, this mold is producing the tube. This is the mold and this is the tube. In order to make this plastic part removed from this mold, we have to create something called draft angle. If I go here, plastic molding draft angle, you will see it more clearly. So this one. This is normal mold, which is not recommended. See, like this one, not here drafted. We have to apply draft. OK, In, if you look to the, uh, to the screen now, you will find the draft angle is too much angle. OK, in real life, it's not too much. It's only 0 0.5 degree, 0 0.3 degree, one degree maximum, so something you cannot see by your eyes. But it's, uh, it's very important when you want to release See, what's the value here? 0.5 degree. It's very important, even if it's small angle, but it's better than sharp or flat surface. Okay, so this is the requirement. Whenever you try to design mold, you have to apply angle to the, like this one, see? Here, angle, small angle from here to here. This, it's not perpendicular to this one. So this is the angle, see? 93, this one, three degrees, as an example, not one degree, three degrees. Okay, so now we learn why we use this draft 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and it's why it's important. We will go back to Inventor to show you how to do this one. File, new. Rectangle. Let's see uh, 50 
by uh, let's say 50 by 100. Uh, 50 by uh, 20. Okay, like this one. And I will make extrude. Okay. And then here, let's say I have mold. I have one part here. One block. 20 by 10. And this one down, let's say 5. Okay. You can come here and create angle. But let's say you don't want to come here and create angle. You have this part ready for your mold. You want to create the mold design. You go here to draft. Can you see the draft here? First one, click on pull direction. You will choose the first surface in the top. You want to pull it up. Then faces, which faces you want them to be affected? I want this face. I want this face. I want this face. I want this face. Okay. I will increase the angle. I will not leave it 2.5. I will increase it so you can see. Okay. But in real life, it's only small amount. Let's say 10. Before I click apply, I want to show you how the shape will be. See? The shape will be like this. You will have angle outside like this. Okay? So let's say, okay. Now let's view visual style wireframe. See? If you go here to draft, right click edit feature, and the pull direction, make it down, you will make the angle reverse, like this one. Okay, so pull direction will control the angle for you. Faces, you will choose which faces you want them to be affected. Okay, view visual style shaded. I will delete this one. I will do it again. I click, if I want to make draft angle, I click on draft. First of all, I choose the pull direction. It should be perpendicular to the face, either this face or this face. But you cannot select the side. Okay? So I will select the, this one, the top. It will show me arrow, this arrow. Okay, that's good. I will select faces. I will go to this face. Uh, I will go to this face. This face. This face. Okay. Then you can create apply. Okay. You can do one thing, you can go to draft, choose this face, and click only one. As an example, this one, and this one, and apply. So if you look from the side, like this view, you have this table, but from this side, no draft angle, because I only choose the faces, the right and left, not the front and back. Okay, so edit feature, this and this, I choose this one. See, faces. Okay. I will delete also. And I will go here, visual style, shaded. Uh, let's say this one is not available, delete. Or suppress, right click, suppress. Again, draft this one. Then choose the faces, okay? Uh, here you can find automatic face chain, automatic blending. If you have fillet here and here, and this fillet is like this, as an example, seven point, let's say seven only. And I go to draft and I choose this face and then faces, I will click here 
it will highlight all the side faces see why because here i i have automatic face chain chain that means select all the faces that are connected okay this one so if i click here all the faces will have angle okay if i don't want this to happen i will go here draft i click this one i deselect this one then you can select only face that you need in this case it will choose only this one you can click up, apply see the sides are not affected okay undo draft but if i want to choose this one uh, sorry draft first the top one then the second one but i don't want this fillet, this fillet to be taken into account, which is wrong, of course. But what if I want to do this? I remove automatic blending. If I remove automatic blending, in this case, it will take only this face by itself. And this fillet and this fillet will not be selected. So if you look from the side, you will find the draft angle, but you will find the shape will become distorted. This face is not appropriate. So I will delete this one. Based on your requirement, but for myself, I found it useful to, to make automatic face chain and automatic blending. And then select the top and select the side. All of them will get the draft angle, except the back. Because remember, if you don't apply fillet, this, the faces will not be considered tangent. And it will not be selected as a chain. See, because I don't have fillet here, I don't have fillet here. The back face, see, it's not selected. You have to, if you want it, you can select it by separate, like this. Okay? By the way, if you click, while you are selecting, if you click any time on Control on the keyboard, you can deselect. draft select the top and then select the sides so here's the sides okay automatic blend automatic this one one way uh, in some cases it will be useful but not this case okay so again draft this option the second option fixed plan as an example i choose this one then i choose the faces and i remove this one down uh, this one down apply it's not really different from the first one but the third one which is parting line i will show you the effect sometimes you have mold but you have something called parting line in the middle i will show you exactly what i mean can you see this part from where the mold open here's the opening of the mold see i will show you this one this line this line this is the first mold this is the second part of the mold so when the mold open it completely release this part here other molds when they open they are not opening with completely part in the middle they leave some part in the upper part and some part in the middle part. Okay, other mold design. I will show you an example. Uh, molding, plastic mold, parting line. Like this one. This plastic has parting line. This is called parting line in the middle. In this case, I need to make a draft angle in the top and draft angle in the bottom. I cannot only make draft angle in one side because this side will be inside the cavity and this side also will be inside the cavity from both sides. Okay. It seems that this is the only example that we have. This one. For, ah, this one example. See, look here. Can you see this green part? Okay. 
if you open the mold from here, if you make the parting line, you choose the parting line here, okay? And you open the mold from here. What will happen to this part, the green here? Who can tell me? If, if I choose to make the opening for this mold from here, this line. Okay, I will make screenshot so I can explain to you more. Okay, if I make, if I choose the part, the mold to be open from here, this one go up, this part go down. And I want to remove this plastic to make it go down from here. Okay, what will happen to this area? Imagine, imagine this is cake. You are making cake at home and you have mold that part of the cake go inside the mold here. But you need to open, you need to open the mold from down. What will happen to this part, this part that's here? If you open it from down and you have part stuck here, stuck here, and you want to pull it down, what will happen to the part inside? It will not be go outside, of course. Huh? It will be broken or damaged or anything. In this case, the people who designed the mold, they changed the location of this one called parting line. They changed the location. They moved it from the bottom of the part to the area where you have change in the profile. Now, when the mold open, it will have some of the area in the green, this one, it will open. It will be remaining in the bottom part here, like this. And other area, it will be go with here. So this area will be released easily. Unlike this one, see? undercut that means it will not be go outside from here that's what lead us to something called um, parting line so in the inventor let's say i have uh, this part i want to create part similar to that part as an example let's say delete delete i will remove the fillet i will create work plane in the center and I will create sketch on it and let's say I have something like this okay in this case I need to make the parting line in the middle so I make some of the plastic part go with other cavity, some of the plastic part will go with the lower cavity instead of having the parting line in the middle. So how to do this? I will go to draft. I click on the third one, parting line. Then I will choose the pull direction. I will choose the pull direction, let's say up, and parting line tool. I will say the work plane in the middle. It's my parting line tool because I want to tell the software that this plane is where the part will open and close. Faces, I'll choose this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, back, back, this one, this one, this one. All the faces that are related, okay? All the faces that are related. I don't care about the face, the bottom and top, see? Bottom and top, I don't care about. And I specify the angle, let's say five degree. I apply. Now, if I look to my part, I will find that I have draft angle here and draft angle here, a draft angle here and draft angle here. Now, when the part will remove from the upper cavity, it will go easily. When the part removes from lower cavity, it will go easily. I want to see. Let's say at home, you want to make cake. Okay, you have mold. This is your mold. Mold. In Arabic, okay. you cannot make the mold, you cannot buy molds like this. This is 
negative draft angle. If you put the dough here and you want the mold to just close, but it will go up. يعني يطلع أفرضا هذا هيك شكله بنت هون عندك المولد وهون حطيت الكيك this one cannot be released because it has angle this one can release but it will make friction here this one can release easily So even if your mold is supposed to be rectangle, they put something that you you cannot notice, like one degree, point five degree, two degrees, but not like this. You will not see mold like this in real life. Okay, but it's almost one degree, two degree, but at least to release the part. So if the parting line in the middle, I will make it one for the top, like this one. Imagine I have work plane here and my mold will be like this one here and the other mold will be here so when the mold open this part will go up this part will go down and this one will be easy to, re to be released okay so we finish from the draft angle Here's parting line as I showed you. Here, automatic blending on, automatic blending of the remember I told you if you have fillet, fillet, if you if you join, uh, if you keep automatic blending on, it will take two faces, this face and this face, including the fillet, together. If you make it off, it will only take this face. This one. Okay. Okay, splitting, splitting the part. I will delete this draft angle. I will keep the parting line. In Inventor, we can do several things to modify the solid. One of the useful technique to deal with part is to be able to split the face. I will highlight, I will make this one invisible. This is face, this is face, okay? If you want to manipulate this face, you have to split it. And this is the tool. If you click now here, and this tool, they will ask you to select a tool, okay? I will make this one visible, like this one, visible. And I will select split, select tool, I will come here, work plan. Is a tool. Okay, which faces do you want them to be selected? I will choose only this face. I select, I can click all faces, but I want to select only this one. I click OK. What will happen now? I will remove the visibility from this one. This face become two. But because I didn't select all faces, only this face selected. Even from the back, it's not affected. Only from the front. Okay, so now what's the benefit of having this one? I can now make changes to this one. I can, as an example, make thicken. Uh, I can remove automatic blending. And I can choose this one uh, to be five. See? 
I only choose part of the of the face to be thickened. Or I can make something like direct. This direct enable me to control the move or size or scale or rotate. Let's say I come here. I want to rotate. I come here about I choose this face and then I uh, automatic blending remove it and then I do like this and then I apply what will happen I did rotate for this face only this face okay I rotate or if I don't want to do this I can go to direct again uh, choose this one remove automatic blending make move and drag this one uh, if you cannot, if you cannot do it like this, you can direct come here. Let's say change this one. Ah, it can go like this. It can go here. It can go to right. Some, sometimes uh, direct work with you in this phase. Sometimes it not, doesn't work. Like this one, as an example, it worked here because this one is perpendicular to the face. And sometimes it work in this one. See, but in this case, because there's something here related to blending, this one, automatic blending, it cannot do it. Because it cannot move this face while this face is not uh, moving. The only way you can do it if you thicken this one only like this and then come here to direct to this face and then you can move this one see because I taught the software I let the software know that these are two not one now you can move it this one the way you want see you can make it in the back here even behind this one so this is very useful tool it started from split and then direct and I can manipulate. Direct, you can do whatever you want with this tool. Okay. Even you can scale like this one. If you have direct, you can come here, uh, choose from face to solid. Now choose this one and scale and type 0.5. All the parts will be small now. If you click apply, will be small see okay so one more time again we then i will remove this direct delete i will remove this one i will keep it like this i will remove this direct okay let's say i have it like this okay so i use split if i come here to split and edit feature okay edit edit feature now, if I choose this face also, like this, go to face and choose this this one and this one and this one and this one, apply. You will have all this face faces being splitted, but not the one in the back. Okay, let's say I want to edit feature and I select all faces. Okay, all the faces that the visible line pass through it will be splitted. But this one, the top one and the bottom one, the work plane did not pass through them, so they will not be splitted. Now, what can I do with this one? I can do whatever I want. I can go to direct. I can go to remove this solid, choose this one, uh, make it uh, move, remove this two faces, choose this one. As an example, move this one inside. Uh, it will not take it like this. Go to thicken first, thicken. This one, remove the automatic blending and make this one uh, cut uh, other direction. See, like this. See? Now go to direct, move it now easily. Okay. Okay, so we learn how to use split tool. Are you familiar now with uh, face split? This is called edit feature. This is called face split. Okay, if I delete this one, 
the this one will be removed the split I can do one thing again I can keep the visibility of the work plane I got to split and I click on the green area here if I click on the green area it will transform from solid face to, to solid that means it will split the entire solid if I click on keep both sides and click here and OK, what will happen? This one is not face. This one is body. That means if you go to uh, direct and click on solid, this one, you can remove it. Because this one solid is not face anymore. If you go here to solid bodies on the left side, can you see in the left side? You open from, you, you will, uh, in this one, solid body, you will have, you have solid body number one, solid body number two. You have two bodies. Okay? But in case of split, you will have only one body, but different faces. Okay? So, uh, let me undo direct, undo split, solid. I have one solid. Okay? I go split again. I choose solid. I click here. But I choose one part to be removed, or one part to be removed, either right or left. In this case, I will have only, I will choose this one, and I will remove this one, or I will remove this one. I will have only one body, but I remove the part using work plan. Okay, undo, I will delete the work plan. I will delete anything, the extrusion. I will start to create something like this. Line, spline. I will finish. I will go to split. I choose face. It work. I choose solid. I click on split tool. This one. I don't want to keep both. I want to keep one of them. I click here. See what will happen. I flip the direction. Edit feature from this one to this one. Now we created a new body, new solid, only one solid body here, but have the shape that you choose to have, okay, based on what you need. Okay, of course you can do this sketch, edit sketch, by changing this one, this one, or instead of having this one, let's say you have line only, like this. This this called split. Okay, if you want to do edit and you want to keep both of them, you will have here something called another one. See, okay. And as I said again, go to direct. This one is another part. Move, and then add, and then later you can, as an example, create part in the middle like this. Maybe you have this something in your design. You want to create something like this as an example. Or you want to add fillet. So how to deal with the part, it's up to you. But you have to learn how to create split command okay you have any question about split command so this is split okay let's see what else we have here split shell shell is very useful tool it, it's the easiest way the easiest way to create hollow uh, box or uh, bottle. As an example, I want to make this one hollow. I go to shell. I choose the dimension one millimeter, and I click OK. Now this box is empty from inside. How can I know? I can go to view, section view, and I choose this one. I move. 
I click OK. See? What's the thickness tool measure from here to here? It's, uh, sorry, the thickness is one millimeter. Minimum distance, one millimeter. Why one millimeter? Because if you go to shell edit feature, you will find this thick one millimeter. If you type two, this will increase. If you type three, this one will become three. View again, section view, end section view. Shell edit feature. What if I want the box to be open from one side? Click on remove faces. Click on this one. Choose face to be removed. Now you change back this one to one. Now I created simply box. How to do it again? Delete. Go to 3D model. Go to shell. Click on the face that you want to remove. Choose one millimeter or two or three, whatever you want. What if you pick on this face and this face? It will become like this, two faces. So sometimes, as an example, if you have part of the model, you can do like this. And you create part of the model easily instead of creating rectangle, cut, rectangle, cut. I know how to deal with uh, this shape. Uh, also, you can do like this. You can come here and remove this face, remove face, this one. So you can completely do like this. OK? Delete. What if you have fillet here, seven? OK, and you go here, shell and you remove this face. See, the shell will take into account the fillet. And it will make the thickness also, see, measure from here to here, one. OK, let's measure it here. From here to here, one. From here to here, one. OK? But if you click here on shell, again, edit feature, delete, delete. I want to make shell here, remove this face. In this case, it, all the face will be tangent, will be removed, because automatic blending is on. If I don't want this to happen, edit feature, remove automatic chain blending, OK? Uh, but you have to delete first and come again, shell, and choose this one and remove automatic. What will happen? Only this face will be removed and the fillet will not be removed. Okay. I will delete this one here. Shell, one millimeter. I will remove the top. What if someone asks you, telling you, this one, one millimeter. I want one from here, one from here, one from here. But from the back, I want it to be three millimeters because I want to put it in the wall. I want to make screw. I need it to be three millimeter. In this case, you go here into this arrow, click on it, and you have to add thickness. Click here and say, click on this face and click here next to one, three. So, so in this case, you, are, you ask the software to take permission to only change this one to three millimeter while keep the other one millimeter. So this is called shell, but you have variant in the dimensions. Delete, I will do it again. Shell, I click here, one millimeter. I want this one to be extra. If you click now here, what will happen? If you click here now, who can tell me what will happen if I click here now? Because you are clicking and remove faces, this will be removed. OK, so this is not the way you have to do it. You click here. You want to remove this one. You want to change this one to 3 millimeter. 
you have to get rid from this one remove so click here down and click on add see now this one it's not highlighted anymore now this one highlighted and it's zero selected so select this one and change the value to five let's say okay so this is chill automatic blending no faces removed front face remove original model automatic face chain or without ah, inside or outside delete shell one millimeter outside it will move the shell to one millimeter from outside here one millimeter inside here it will make both in the middle so 0.5 in the middle 0.5 outside okay only the direction will be changed usually usually when you design usually in all design offices the shell will be inside only no one will make shell outside because we take the dimension from outside and then we make the shell inside okay define the thickness of the wall ah if you want to add extra wall as i told you okay rib we have web we have rib something else let's say i will accept this one here i will keep this one here file new extrude I will choose the middle so I will maintain my work plane in the middle remember some of the students they do mistakes but they don't feel it as an example I have this sketch where I create the sketch I created in this work plan okay when I want to make extrude and I know my part will all the time have symmetry around the center all the time I will have symmetry around the center I should not make extrude to one direction in this case, you will make this work plane only in the back. So whenever you add here, it will you will not get use of the work plane because it's in the back. The smart idea is to make edit feature and to make the extrude in the middle symmetric. So you will maintain the work plane in the middle. This is just basic, okay? Now I want to start with this sketch. I will choose the work plane that I know for sure it's in the middle. And I will create line from here to here. I will create rib. I will choose uh, this direction. So this is the rib. Now again, what's the rib? Rib. So this is the rib. Who can understand from the image from the image here what's the benefit of the rib? Hmm? Okay. What do you think the benefit of this rib? This rib, 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 rib. rib here in the plastic if you notice now you understand when you see part plastic part or remember the cover of the mobile when you used to open the cover of the mobile we used to have something like this small this one now you understand that this called ribs so what's the benefit of having like these ribs see in the plastic part the main reason to have this one to increase the structure to make the structure very solid this is the main reason if i don't have this ribs the plastic part will be easily uh, broken as an example if you have something like this let's say this is shear okay the shear from inside it's made of plastic if this one hollow nothing here 
If you sit in the middle, you will break it. If you catch this plastic part and flip it like this, flip the direction, and make the legs outside, and make the, this is the back. If you look from inside here, you will find, you will find, definitely you will find something like this. Like Not in this shape, maybe, maybe in different shapes, but you, you have to find something like this. That's why when you step on the plastic, it will not easily collapse. This one, we should this the structure. This goes good. If you find plastic, if you open the toys or electrical appliances, you will find this one, which is hole to put the screw. Let's say you have screw. Okay. This one all the time has something here in the side. Otherwise, when you are making the screw like this, this one will be rotated or and broken if you don't have the rib. Okay, that's why they put here ribs from the side. Today we learn how to how to make these ribs and how to get use of them. See, they are calculating actually the benefit of adding ribs. Some software they calculate for you uh, the stress and the strain on the part. So this is the rib. And sometimes this rib has, as an example, um, standard measurement, like this one called thickness, feet thickness. So this rib equals thickness over eight, which is if this one one millimeter, this one over eight. Okay, so you have calculation for this one. See the plastic part? All the plastic part, whenever you look to any plastic part in the world, okay, you will find you have small part like this one, small part like this one. Even this one here, it's connected. See this one area, it's connected down. See here. So all these called ribs, okay? Uh, let's go part. Ah, see, this is the, the share that I'm talking about. Can you see this? Uh, is it clear, this image? See here. This is the rib, and this is without rib. This will be easily, could be broken very easily. But this one, the structure of this one is strong. Okay? Of course, there are design and there is calculation and there are many, many things you need to care about when you work as a, a designer for plastic parts. Okay, so I use the line. I delete here. I will keep this line. If you create rib and you choose this line, Let's say you choose this one, the first one, and you click here, it will be thin, okay? If you choose the second one, okay, and you create this one, it will be full, complete. Here the thickness, you want it three, you want it five, you want it ten, okay, you want it point five, two, so this is the thickness. If you can see here, next to shape, there is nothing in the top here. Because in this case, this rib is only has one line. Okay. Other part, let's say like this part. If you have, as an example, before I add the shell, let's, let me delete the shell. Let's say I have hole here and hole here. Uh, I will change the location eight. And for this one, this one, it, okay. I will add shell. Now this one, similar to the part that I was talking to you about, okay, the hole. Okay, let's say you have sketch in the top. Okay, you want to create rib. What you, all you have to do is create line from here, from the center, like this one, or just do any line and take the measurement to be eight. You remember when we said eight, we want it to be eight. It's okay if this line 
is passing out like this here. No problem. Okay. If you click finish and click uh, uh, and you choose this line, the software automatic automatic will blend only the part that needs and leave this one automatic, even if you if your line crossing the hole. And we'll stop here. See. If you click OK, as an example, I choose the thickness 2. If you click OK, we'll be fine. But do you notice that I have here two things added to me? I have draft for this one also. I can add draft for it, 5 degree. I don't want my line to be straight forward perpendicular because I want it to be removed from the mold later. So I have to add 5 degree like this. Go to us. Do you want? Do you have small part? Uh, this one I don't have now, but I will show it to you in a couple of minutes. I don't have now. I have only draft five. I click OK. See, this is what will I have. If I go to rib and I have sketch, right click, edit my sketch, and I create line here in the center, let's say like this and another line here. And I add uh, this line. I have to find center. I click on this one, project, project. And this, I add this line to be in the center, this line to be in the center. And then I finish. And I go to rib and edit feature. And I select this line also this line also, I will have completely like this part. If I go to rip, rip edit feature, I can change the angle. Uh, if I go to it, this sketch, edit sketch, and I added only dot one point here, one point only, and one point here, only one point, and I click like this, and I go to rip, edit feature. Now I go to the this, the third one, and I choose the center to be this one and this one. It will add small notch like this, small notch. Okay, this small notch, I will. Uh, it it help you to eject the part in the plastic component. Okay, here if you find the diameter, make it two, so this one will become bigger. Okay, here the draft angle. Let's say ten. See this one will have angle also. Let's say 20, see? Five. Offset, one millimeter, I don't want offset. Zero. It will not work. 0. 0.5, it will only come outside 0. 0.5. Five, it will go too much. Okay? Draft angle and like this. So this was the part that we create. Okay, using draft. Okay, so I will I will delete all of these. Uh, I will keep the whole. I will delete all of these. One more time, I go to sketch. Start. Start. Uh, let's say here. Start to this sketch. By the way, for the task of today, we have to do something like this under the rib. Here we'll have extend the rib. This one, okay. Uh, exercise not nine A. We'll do exercise nine B. Okay. So all you have to do is to create part and make 
uh, from down make it like arc okay and then create lines okay see here they are giving you example see 25.4 25.4 like this see I can do like this file new create okay you can either do it like this go to site and create line from here to here line okay and then create circle uh, put the center not don't put the center here put the center up okay and put it here like this okay choose the radius let's say 45 and then create trim and trim trim finish and then create revolve around this one if you click okay it will be uh, like uh, egg shape okay but I don't want to be like this one I want it to be only 180 but also I don't want it to be 180 like this I want it to be in the middle symmetric so I will create part like this okay now you go to hole put hole in the middle If you if you cannot put the hole in the middle, what you need to do, you need to create a sketch here. And can you see this point? Go to this point. Uh, you can create point here. Okay. Finish. Create hole. Okay. That's it. All the way through. And choose the diameter. This one based on your dimensions. Don't follow my dimensions. Do the dimension that you think it's important. After you create a hole, step number three, create shell. Click here, and you choose, as an example, one, that one millimeter, two millimeter, whatever you want. Let's say I created one millimeter. Okay? Step number four is to create a sketch, but not on the top. You have to go to work plane, choose this face, click on this face, and go offset down. Let's say minus two. And then start to the sketch on this face and create line in the middle like this one line here line here okay and create line here line here in the middle And create a line here. If this line is not horizontal, go to this one, horizontal, and make it horizontal. Okay. Now let's check the measurement. From here to here, I want it to be. Uh, don't follow the dimension 25.4. That one in the. Follow your dimension. Let's say eight. I want it to be. Now make this one equal. Do you remember when I told you click on this one? It will follow the dimension equal it uh, make it seven as an example in my case I'll make it seven I'll make this one uh, it's already seven from here to here nine I make it also nine I have this shape I add point one two three four at the intersection, five, six, seven, eight. I will not add in the middle. Finish. I will go to draft, rib. I will select all of it. Okay. One more time, draft, uh, not draft, uh, rib. I'll select one, two, don't select all of it, select one by one, three. Ah, this one will make a problem for you. 
that's why it didn't work. Do you remember this one, this line? You have to click on it, this one, and make it construction like this. You should not keep it active. Okay, so rib one, two, three, four, five, six. See, automatic, the software will understand at the po place of the point here, boss, he select center, all of them. Now come to your modification. Make draft angle five as an example, or 10. 10 will not work. Okay, make it five. Make here offset uh, one millimeter diameter. Make the diameter 0.5. Okay, let's say 0.5. Go to the draft here on, in this walls. Make it five, like this. Click OK. Edit if five network. Make it two. Create a problem. Edit. It will not take it. Let's say one. Let's go to this one. Instead of five, make it two. Accept. What's the problem in this case? Ah, okay, edit feature. Let's say the thickness 0.5. Okay, 0.5. One degree, and so on. Okay, so this is the task that you need to make. This, this is plastic part I create. I added ribs. I added draft angle to the ribs. See, if you look from the top, you will find I have draft angle here. And I added ejector pins. And it's fully structured, very strong. Okay, so this is what you need to do today. Create lines, go down, add points, see? Add following six point to the sketch based on your sketch. Maybe you need to add six, maybe you need to add four based on the lines. But if I create like this, like me, one, two, three, one, two, three, you will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where he add? Eight. Add, add following six sketch points. Uh, let's see the final part where he add the point. Ah, he add, he didn't add here at this intersection as an example, or at this intersection. Okay, so randomly they added only six points. Okay, so you can do either ways. You can add at the intersection as I did points, or add wherever you want points. Then go down, cre create draft, choose the point, create the uh, draft angle, Add the point, and that's it. This part, the final shape should be something like this. Okay. If you if you notice here, if I I will suppress the feature, and I will suppress the shell. I will suppress the hole. I will suppress everything. I created sketch, and I made revolve. So, you can do it different way. You can go to file new. It part start with the sketch and this one uh, create like this rectangle 40 tab 40 finish extrude down let's say 50 then go here to uh, fill it you add fill it here fill it here fill it here fill it here let's say 10 and then you go here, fill it, go to this round, and then choose 20. It will not take it 50, 15. You can do something like this, or 18. Okay. Uh, decrease the value feature of the extrude from 50 to 30. From 50 to, to 20. Add hole, 
Do you remember that when we, we said about this point, you can choose loop, center loop, so here it will add point. Now it will help me to create hole here. Add shell. Now here is my part. Okay, so what I wanted to say that I don't want you to copy from your colleague. What he did revolve, you did revolve. You ask him ten, he, you put ten. This is not the proper way to learn. You create extrude, you create revolve, you create any shape that has fillet from down. Don't make the shape from the bottom has no fillet. In this case, the rib will not be appropriate for for us. I want to to let you know that the rib, if I create here sketch. And I will create, as an example, line here. And I create line here. And as I said, we will make one line here. You can create offset, by the way. Click here and go here. Click here and go here. Click here and go here. And then add dimensions. Or while you are creating the offset, you can do like this, see? Offset from here to here. And uh, type 10 from here 10 from here 10 from here 10 that's it offset is better this one offset and you create okay I did not I forget to add the point uh, edit sketch again I will add the point add the intersection one two I don't want to add here three four I don't want to add here and here. This time I will add only four. Finish. Why we want to, to have fillet? Because I want to show you that the rib, if I create this one, this one, this one, see the rib will take the shape down. Can you see down? Yeah, this one. The rib will understand that you have a shape and it will follow. And then add the thickness that you need as an example two. It's too much. One. Add. By the way, if you add here two, it's not appropriate. It's not make sense. Why it's not make sense? You can tell me. Not only like this. When I created the first shell here, edit feature, the plastic part itself has a thickness of one. So how I will make the thickness of the rib two? If the plastic itself, the thickness of the plastic one, this will cause for me a problem in the injection mold, in the uh, like shrinkage or any other problems. So if you want to make it two, from the beginning, make here two. Now the part will be thick, your part will be thick. Now this one will be consistent. You will, you will reduce lots of problem when you're creating this one. Edit feature. Now this one make it less than two, let's say 1.5, it's better even. Go to draft, add here, let's say five. Go to boss, add here five. And change the diameter to 1.5 for the circle and apply. Okay, now you will have this shape. Okay. So this is the part that I want you to work in. I will uh, turn, I will stop the recording.